Brad Pitt. Yes. Zombie Apocalypse. Yes. Based on a best-selling book. Oh yeah. PG-13. You fucking serious? <laughs> What is up, movie bus, film lovers, and everybody else? I am David, the Film Junkie, bringing you a film review of World War Z. I just realized I'm wearing a Fight Club shirt. I tend to do that, because when I did my Hangover 3 review, I was wearing the, um, shh, this is my Hangover shirt shirt, and I didn't even plan that. Just like I didn't plan this, I swear. It's almost like my subconscious just knows what I'm reviewing. <laughs> Dang, well... And that's, I guess that's not true because I kind of had wore a dress shirt for the purge. I should have just wearing, I should have been wearing a shirt made of shit. Anyways, guys, and I don't need to go back to the purge, but uh, World War Z starring Brad Pitt and nobody else really important. Except for that chick from the show The Killing who always looks very, very upset with something. Either that or she's constantly on her period. And of course, World War Z is based on a bestseller by Max Brooks, which I have been wanting to uh, read, but I haven't read it yet. I wanted to see the movie first because you know that whole thing and yeah, the movie book's always better. Well, there's a simple reason for that. I'm not going to explain it right now. And we follow Brad Pitt's character. He's like an ex, like, just badass dude who's retired. He's got a family living in, um, New York or New Jersey or whatnot. And of course, um, one day just shit hits the fan. Stuff's blowing up and there's these weird people running after other people and just biting the absolute crap out of them and then they form them. Yeah. You guys get it, zombie apocalypse. Everybody knows what a zombie apocalypse is, and you know, you could be going in this movie like, okay, this is just gonna be a gore fest, stupid. No, not really. So they find salvage on this like aircraft carrier, and then uh, Brad Pitt is basically ordered to come back into duty, active duty, to go search for a solution. So he's going to different locations, trying to figure out where this thing started, and if there could be like a vaccine made to kill this virus that is making people all batshit crazy. What did I think about the movie? I liked it. I absolutely did like it. Um, it was a very well done movie, well uh, paced, uh, good story. You know, I haven't, like, I can't compare it to the book because I haven't read it yet. I plan on reading it though, but uh, overall, it's a good movie. It was, it felt very like, you know, like an espionage thriller kind of movie, you know, where it's lots of locations and it had that feel to it, but they really captured that. And the zombie, um, the zombie parts were really good too. I mean, there was a lot of freaky moments. The director did a very well job when it came to just like walking down hallways. There's a couple times where it's just really quiet and it's just, uh, you're waiting for something and you're like, ah, come on, just pop out, just pop out, just pop out. And Brad Pitt does a very well job. Brad Pitt's one of my favorite actors. I think he always does a pretty good job in all his movies. Um, and uh, other performances were good too. I mean, uh, some would say maybe like the family aspect of it was not really needed because it kind of wasn't. I mean, they could have just went with a retired guy who was just living, drinking a lot, and they could have went that way, and then he just got there. But they wanted to make the family man kind of thing because, I mean, really, they, the beginning, yeah, the whole family is, like, in trouble, and then once they get on that aircraft carrier party, he has to go by himself, and he just calls back to them just to say, hey, I'm still alive, even though, wow, he was kind of bad luck, because wherever Brad Pitt went, yeah, a lot of zombies went, too. I think my biggest gripe about this movie that really kind of bogged it down, that just just made me not love it, you know, and it made me not just go, oh yeah, I'll buy that on DVD, it was the fact that it was PG fucking 13. Ah! It was missing the gore element, it was missing that zombie, good old zombie gore, because there'd be like stuff happening where, you know, either someone's getting bit or something happened where you, it's off, it'd be like right here, like something's happening in their hand or something is going on and you're, it's just barely off the frame. So you're like, what? Show me what he's doing. Of course they can't because they had to keep the gore level down because Hollywood wants to milk every dollar out of us as much as possible, which is lame. I hate it when Hollywood does that. They take these books or video games, anything, they adapt it and then they water it down for freaking PG-13 and then it just it just misses that element, that real true element to a zombie apocalypse movie. But overall, I still liked it. My new rating system goes like this. I just came up with it, I actually came up with it a while ago, like two weeks ago and I forgot to implement it. If the movie's truly awful, like if it was Purge-like, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna rate it as theater, give me my money back and then some, at least at least give me some popcorn for the road. If a movie's just bad, you know, just whatever bad, I just want my money back and then I'll be on my way. See you later, movies. Stay ya. If a movie's good, keep my money. I was satisfied. Keep the eight bucks I spent for the early bird special and there you go. See you guys later. If a movie's truly freaking awesome, then hey, take more of my money and I want to watch it again. Man, I had a lot of coffee before I started shooting these videos. Anyways, I'll rate this as a keep my money theater. I was satisfied. 
Nothing, nothing to it. If you guys want to see it, check it out. It's a good, it's a decent zombie movie. It's an overall good movie. Like I said, it's just missing that gore element because of the PG-13 rating. Well, all right, guys, hit that like, thumbs up button. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Well, I am David, your film junkie, of course, and this has been a film review of World War Z. You know, they kind of left it open for a sequel, too, so that might be coming. Who knows? You know, I guess we'll see what happens. All right, guys, talk to you later.